So I'm, 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 I guess in my opinion, the best thing that, that someone said about me is that, that I mean well. So I, 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 I mean, I really I mean well. Um, I try to improve the, the things the way they are. I'm Reta Trinkler. I'm the chairman and co-founder together with Mona Elisa of Melonport. Blockchain is in, uh, exciting because it's, it's a new way of, of doing commerce and, and a new way of trusting people. Yeah, it's, it's essentially a way that is kind of enforced by technology and not just by, by contracts and, I guess, governments, ultimately. So this is how I would explain it to my grandmother. On almost every intersection there are traffic lights. Because it, there used to be a time where traffic actually was controlled by, you know, policemen standing in the middle and kind of directing traffic. But along the, along the way we found out that this is a very inefficient way to do it takes up a lot of uh, human resources and it's really a boring job. And now we just use, you know, traffic lights. And it's a much more efficient way to do uh, and, and controlling traffic. The policeman now can, can do something else with his time. Blockchain is just the next iteration of traffic lights. We will realize along the way that, you know, the policemen in the middle, which are now the banks and, and the insurance companies and, and the governments, that we actually don't need them anymore or not in a capacity. So it's so a big reason for me um, to start Malmport and, and to do the work that we do is essentially the, the things that happened in Cyprus. I think that really shaped me because that's no way to treat fellow human beings. Essentially what happened there was that the Bank of Cyprus got into financial troubles. And in order to save that bank, uh, it, it was decided that one would just take the, the money of the, the people depositing money there. So it was legalized theft. Um, and that's really something that you, ca you can't do with blockchain. And I think that's one of the, the at least for me, that, that was one of the big um, eye-opening moments of how important this technology really is. And, and it's like this, it's not just Cyprus. It happened in the UK with uh, Northern Rock. It happened in Iceland with Glitnir Bank. And, and I don't mean to put blames too much because I understand it's, it's all done in a certain context. So the, the, the bail-ins are just a reaction to the bailouts. It's, it's about trying to fix rather than put blame, I guess. It's not about telling people, you know, use this, but giving them the option of, you know, like actually, you know, you don't need to have your money at a bank. You can have it in a melon fund or you can have it invested in Bitcoin. It's, 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 it's a proper alternative.